Do you remember hearing your grandparents describe their lives? Um, my, uh, of course, they were in, in Italy at the time. And uh, would you remind me and tell me what part of Italy they were? Uh, they were from a, a little town called San Ferdinando, which was um, a grant from Ferdinand II, as far as I can remember the story. And uh, they were given a grant to establish that little town. And uh, that's the reason it's named Ferdinand, St. Ferdinand. Uh -huh. um, about your grandparents, do you remember them growing up? Uh, no, because they were not here. They were in Italy. Do you remember the oldest person you knew growing up? Uh, like an older adult? Did you have any older aunts and uncles? Uh, yes, uh -huh. my mother's brothers. There were two brothers here. My father's family on my family's side. Three sisters, uh, and they were married. One of them was married in this country. The other two were married in Italy. And, uh, well, the last uh, family reunion that we went to, 250, where there was two, co two families involved, the Frontino family and the Distasso family, because they were intermingled in marriage. Where was the reunion? Uh, it, um, the park, Sycamore Park in, uh, in Glendale. Mm -hmm. And over 250 people yeah. are now. The last count that I was at, that I had, but the last five years or so we didn't go. My sister wasn't too well to go and, uh, and it was, I just didn't care to go anymore because it wasn't easy for her. What do you remember your uncles and your older uncles uh, talking about how life was growing up? Did they talk about it with you? Uh, not really, because they, there were, as I said, there was five boys and two girls in that family. So the boys were all, but no, my grandfather, I'll tell you about my, my mother's father, he was in, in the, um, the war in... Um, Rome, when they conquered Rome, he was one of the soldiers that went into that war to conquer Rome. And they were having a big battle at that time. I don't know what battle it was. I don't know. But anyway, my mother was also getting a little pension from, because she was the youngest of the kids. From the Italian government? Yeah. yeah. And what was your grandfather's name? Uh, his name was Russo, R-U-S-S-O. And one of my cousins made a study of that name, and um, he said they originated from Russia. Yeah, I think it means Russian, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It means red. Right, you right. Say so? right. Russian. What was your grandfather's first name? Uh, there's no way I have to stop and think. My, my, well, Peter Anthony. It's Pietro Antonio. Russo. Do you remember your family discussing world events and politics growing up? Well, my father just absolutely adored this country. He was just, he just was enhanced with this country. And uh, he became an American citizen very quick. It didn't take long to become an American citizen. And you told me he came here originally in 1908, uh -huh. and then. But he, but he, I, I think he became a citizen in around maybe 1920 or 1918, something like that. And when he came from Italy, he came directly to Los Angeles. Well, the reason for that was an uncle had come here before, and when he went back, he told my mother, "I'm taking this boy with me." because there's a lot of opportunities in California. So I want to take him with me. And that's how my father got to California, or he'd end up in New York or New Jersey. God forbid. <laughs> Tell me about your father. You had a lot of pride when you mentioned him. Oh yeah, he was, he was a wonderful father. He was just a wonderful father. He, uh, he loved his family. He loved my mother to death. He was such a, and he was very kind. He was a real kind man. Mm -hmm. You told me he was a barber? Mm -hmm. 
And he had a, a barber shop on Broadway? On North Broadway, right near Chinatown. And it was the first barber shop for the community? One in that, in that area. Uh -huh. 